Hey, I'm Matt Rothschild, the editor at the Progressive Magazine, with my Progressive Point of View, which you can also grab off our website over at Progressive.org, if you're not there already. So this is what it's come down to in Fitzwalkerstan, which is the name of Wisconsin, under the reign of Governor Scott Walker and the Fitzgerald brothers. Earlier this fall, I and a couple dozen other people were arrested in the State Assembly Gallery simply for holding this and taking pictures with it. A cell phone. Other people were arrested for carrying signs. Then on Friday, Scott Walker issued an edict that would further repress free speech. It said that if you're with four or more people in the state capitol and you want to have a demonstration there, why, you've got to get permission of the governor and you should have submitted a request to do so 72 hours previously. On top of that, you can be charged for engaging in your free speech rights. The bill would be $50 an hour per officer that's extra to take care of the protest and any other complications that might arise from it. Governor Walker seems to think that free speech is some privilege, but free speech isn't a privilege. You're not supposed to have to ask permission to engage in free speech. You're not supposed to be charged for free speech. That's why a lot of activists in Wisconsin plan on challenging this edict of Scott Walker, including the wonderful Solidarity Singers, who've been doing sing-alongs in the state Wisconsin rotunda ever since Scott Walker came to power, every day, Monday through Friday, at noon. I suppose Scott Walker wants to get them all arrested too, because he can't stand the heat. I'm Matt Rothschild, and that's how I see it.